Hi, this is Yolanda Van Dien, and in this segment we're going to learn all about how to propagate house plants from stem cuttings. Now we all have gorgeous house plants or go over to our friend's house and they have gorgeous house plants and we'd love to take one home with us. But it's easy to do and you can do it from stem cuttings and many, many plants will grow as a stem cutting. Now these are impatience or they call them busy lizzies and they're really easy to grow from a stem cutting. Whether you grow them and take them from the bottom and divide them by the root, you can also take a stem cutting and it's so easy to do. And my trick with stem, any stem cutting, make sure when you cut it that you cut it right at the base of another branch or another leaf. You don't want to cut it to the ground, you want to cut it where there's a leaf meeting the stem. So even if it's a little branch, you can cut that off. And with impatience and a lot of types of hanging basket, even pothos, the big leafed um, hanging plants, all you do is cut a little stem off and you can put it in a cup of water and it will grow roots. Or you can put it right into some soil and it will grow roots. And I found too when you're putting it in soil, if you dip that in a little bit of honey, honey is the best rooting element there is in the world because the sugar gives the plant energy and also it helps it to grab onto the soil and keep moist. So you just put it right into the soil or you can actually put it into a cup of water and will grow roots. And you can start many plants, you can pull them off. And I found when you're trimming your plants too, an easy way is if you're trimming back any branches or on your geraniums too, you just need a little start to grow. So even geraniums make great house plants and they're so easy to root. And as long as you've got a stem that came from another branch, there was a branch underneath, and put that right in honey or put it right in a little cup of water or I've had so much success with just putting them right into some good compost and make sure it's good earthy compost and water it well but don't let them sit in water the trick is when they're in the pots you want to water them well but let them dry out a little bit in between but never let them get too dry either and that way within a month or so I'll have a beautiful container in the house with impatience and geraniums and it was just that easy